animal feed certification instrument and procedure to guarantee the quality of meat and dairy products through automatic, simple, and rapid DNA barcode method relying on tubulin-based polymorphism, TBP. The Feed Code project aims to provide an animal feed certification pipeline and a procedure to guarantee the quality of meat and dairy products through an automated and simple method capable of identifying the botanical origin of the plant-derived ingredients, declare or not declare, present in a compound feed. Feed code is a molecular method that allows, through a DNA analysis, an easy and simultaneous detection of the single, different plant components present in feed. Due to its wide versatility, it allows the identification of any plant species that may be used for feed preparation by comparison with a database. The method meets all the requirements in terms of feed traceability requested by the current EU regulation. At the end of the procedure, feed botanical composition is revealed by a DNA profile, which represents the sum of the individual DNA profiles of each plant species present in the feed sample. This DNA profile represents a unique barcode for that specific product. Feed code is an integrated pipeline that allows for feed analysis through two different approaches, qualitative, the platform, and quantitative, the probe. A dedicated software, Feed Code Manager, helps the operator during all the analysis steps, from feed arrival to the final assignment of the barcode. Upon arrival, each sample is marked with a tracking code provided by the Feed Code Manager. Let's follow the pathway of two feed samples, FCR3 and FCR11, to the Feed Code Pipeline. Each kind of feed is crushed to obtain a tiny powder in order to break the plant tissue and cell walls. A small amount of feed powder is sampled for the automated DNA extraction. The addition of specific buffers facilitates cell lysis and those DNA release. The cellular debris are discarded by centrifugation and the liquid phase containing the DNA is further processed. In the end of the extraction cycle, the solution contains the DNA of all the plant species that are present in the feed. The DNA of each feed sample is diluted with water in two different ratios to proceed with the amplification step. The qualitative analysis of the pipeline is performed by PCR amplification reaction thanks to the addition of a specific mix of reagents, feed code master mix. PCR is an enzymatic reaction where a limited number, often just one, of DNA fragments are amplified millions of times. The presence in the feed code master mix of a fluorescent molecules allows the visualization of PCR product as shown in the subsequent steps. The feed code master mix targets DNA regions that are present with different lengths in all the different plant species, those generating the feed profile. A PCR thermal cycle heats and cools the reaction tubes 
to achieve the temperature required for the enzymatic reaction. The PCR products obtained from each feed amplification are diluted again with water in two different ratios to proceed with the electrophoresis step. In the capillary electrophoresis, the DNA fragments amplified and labeled with a fluorescent tag are separated according to their different molecular weight within a class capillary that contains a polymer. The data output made up by several peaks, depending on the composition of the feed sample, provides information on both the fragment size, expressed in base pair, and the intensity of the signal, expressed in relative fluorescent unit. The ferrogram of each feed represents a specific DNA profile, a code that results from the sum of all of the plant species profiles originally included in the feed sample. A dedicated software has been developed to evaluate the data output provided by capillary electrophoresis in order to assist the user with a screening tool capable of automatically defining at a qualitative level the botanical composition of any feed sample. The software compares the C profile of each feed sample with the electrophorograms data related to 12 reference plant species present in the dedicated database of the feed code platform. The database has been generated starting from the amplification profile of GDNA extracted from individual plant species. Throughout the score and identification of unique peaks, specific for each of the 12 reference species, the software provides a value of relevance and a list of the plant species detected in the feed. All the information regarding the botanical composition of the feed is recorded in the QR code generated by the software. Sometimes the feed code platform reveals the presence of ingredients not declared in the label. The feed code probe assay has been designed for the quantitative determination, by real-time PCR, of a short species-specific target DNA present in the total DNA extracted from feed samples. The goal of a quantitative measure is to give the best estimate of the actual DNA amount of the target plant species over the total DNA amount extracted from the feed. The DNA amount is estimated by measuring the fluorescence emitted after the staining with a specific fluorescent dye. This is done with a dedicated fluorimeter. The output is directly loaded in the feed code QPCR software. At present, the Precast Feed Code Probe Kit allows the simultaneous identification and quantification of seven different plant species – flax, rapeseed, cotton, sunflower, peanut, sugar beet and rice – with very high sensitivity. A single assay plate can analyze three different feed samples, plus the positive and negative controls. An aliquot of diluted feed DNA is loaded in the precast assay plate and the reaction starts. The real-time PCR apparatus monitors and records the fluorescence emitted at each cycle by the DNA specific for each of the seven selected plant species, indicated by different colors, and search in the feed sample. Data are transferred from the instrument to the QPCR software. The software calculates the number of target DNA copies of each of the seven target species using a predefined calibration curve. The amount of DNA is then normalized for the total DNA amount extracted from the sample. The output of the probe analysis defines if the amount of each species in each feed sample exceeds or not a reference threshold of value corresponding to a 1% of weight over weight. 